Turkey and collects takeaways about potassium. Potassium likes to hang out inside the cell. It plays a big role in propagating action potentials across the cell membrane, which explains why it has a significant impact on our muscles. Arguably our most important muscle in our body is our heart. So if you have a patient with a potassium imbalance, you must put them on telemetry monitoring. The most commonly tested ECG changes on the NCLEX are tall peak T waves in hyperkalemia and a U wave in hypokalemia. Our bodies pee out potassium, so if your patient is aneuric from renal disease, it can cause potassium to go up. Remember, potassium lives inside the cell, so if there's any sort of cell destruction going on, like in tumor lysis syndrome or in burns, that will elevate the potassium too. There are various ways to treat hyperkalemia, but insulin is the easiest and fastest way to do it. Insulin does a great job at shoving potassium back into the cells, but don't forget to administer some dextrose along with it. Now, if we administer too much insulin, that can cause patients to go hypokalemic. When you're replacing potassium, it should never be IV push. It's damaging to the veins. If you need more help with balloon and electrolytes, book a one-to-one -one tutor session with us on archerreview.com.